Batman has some of the best villains and supporting characters in all of pop culture, but let's dive into the weirder side of Batman's allies and foes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdest Batman characters. For this list, we're taking a look at the strangest characters from the Batman mythos. These characters can originate from TV, film, or comics. They can also be any type of character that has a relationship with Batman, whether ally, villain, or neither. Time to get weirded out. Okay, everybody, empty your pockets. <laughs> Gum wrappers, loose string, those little balls of lint. None of that cash stuff. Number 10, King Tut. You may rise. King Tut is Professor Mick Elroy, who believes that he is the reincarnation of the ancient pharaoh, and that Gotham is his ancient city. Definitely not a professor of geography, that's for sure. This character was created and used for the classic 1960s Batman TV show, and is incredibly campy even by that show's standards. Assisted by his Egyptian-themed henchmen, which he calls Tutlings, King Tut intended to claim Gotham as his own. His speeches are filled with Egyptian history lessons while praising Egyptian gods. Despite making Batman dance for him, and even figuring out his identity at one point, Batman thwarts King Tut pretty much every time. A tragic case, Batman. One of the saddest which has ever crossed my ken. There may be hope for him yet. Number 9. Batmite. You're not from around here, are you? I'm from the fifth dimension. Batman's biggest fan from another dimension. Batmite is one of the weirdest characters in DC, and he first appeared in 1959's Detective Comics number 267. He was first portrayed as Batman's version of Mr. Ms. Pispitalik, or whatever the heck. Having virtually limitless power, all he wants to see is his favorite superhero, Batman, in action. Batmite is more of a nuisance than a villain, and he often leaves when he angers Batman. He usually is shown as a small man with his own version of Batman's suit, with a lightning bolt instead of a bat symbol. That was really cool! The way you took care of those ninjas! I bet you could take on three times as many! Number 8. Clock King Well, well. The Batman. It's about time you showed up. It's uh, time to talk about this weird Batman villain. First appearing in 1947's Star Spangled Comics number 70, Clock King is a clock-themed Batman villain with new superpowers. He uses his great sense of timing to rob banks and pursue other criminal activities. I'm here to clean your clock, Fugit. Don't count on it, Batman. When it comes to clocks, I am king. On God. His appearance has been depicted in multiple ways, depending on how campy he is written, but he's mostly known for wearing either a clock mask with a clock staff, or a business suit with a clock-themed necktie. Clock King has appeared in Batman the Animated Series as a toned-down version of the character with the ability to control time, but his classic version has appeared in shows like Batman the Brave and the Bold. You two shall be, how shall I say, kaput! Number 7. Calendar Man Batman? But how? I hadn't even begun my new holiday crime spree. I'll explain later. Take a dive. Uh, oof? Created by Bill Finger in the Silver Age of Comics, Calendar Man first made his appearance in 1958's Detective Comics number 259. It seems to have been a rough few years. Anyway, this Batman villain has an obsession with holidays and special dates, and his crimes always have a connection to the date that he commits them on. Calendar Man is most recognized for his classic outfit in which he sports calendar pages for shoulder pads. Since his debut, Calendar Man has appeared a few times in comics, but he's also appeared in other media like Batman the Brave and the Bold TV show and the Arkham video games. In the latter, he's often shown as a darker character, with calendar-themed tattoos and murder stories for the player. I followed her to her apartment. Loudly proclaiming my love, I drowned out her screams of protest. Sadly, it was not to be. So instead of smothering her with gifts, they simply smothered her. Number 6. Professor Pig Let me explain what's going to happen. You are going to be hunted, much the same way you hunted and drove out the animals that once occupied this wetlands. Created by Grant Morrison, he describes Pig as one of the weirdest, most insane characters that's ever been in Batman, and he's definitely not wrong. Professor Pig is a scientist that captures people and turns them into dolatrons by attaching masks to the faces of his victims and surgically altering them. You're done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He does this in an effort to make everyone perfect, both strange and horrifying at the same time. Professor Pig is often depicted as a normal-sized man with a pig mask and bloody apron with dress clothes on underneath. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Pig is like clay. Pig is like a god. 
pigs yet to fix us all. Number five, Egghead. Are you some kind of nut or something? You can't come in here and steal my eggs like this, bub. Mr. McDonald, you should be expressing your thanks that I saw fit to, to grace your ranch with my presence. <laughs> this exquisite villain from the 1960s Batman TV show, Egghead is an egg-themed villain. Egg-themed definitely wasn't an exaggeration either. My good fellow, let me explain. Egghead never pays for anything. It's just not done among your finer class of criminals. <laughs> Egghead uses egg-related puns in his speech, egg-themed weapons, and he dresses in an extravagant white and yellow suit while having a long, pale, bald head. Our guess is that he was teased as a child and he just took it to the extreme. This is a radar egg and the slightest vibration will make it explode and turn this into a room carpeted with wall-to-wall -wall millionaires. His crimes also have an egg motif to them, like when he demanded a tax for every egg eaten in Gotham. What an egg-centric eggs. You fiendish devil! Expletives will get you nowhere, my cowled crime buster. Number four, Condiment King. Drop your forks and prepare to cower before the uncanny Condiment King. Created for Batman the Animated Series, the Condiment King is a Batman villain themed around condiments like mustard and ketchup. If you loved pun-themed villains, then you will relish this guy as he uses a lot of really bad puns. He is usually shown wearing an outfit with small condiment packets on his sleeves and two guns that shoot ketchup and mustard from a tank on his back. Hot sauce! Anyone else want to be a hero? As mentioned before, he first appeared in Batman the Animated Series and was quickly stopped by Batman after attempting to rob wealthy elites at a restaurant. He has since made his way into some comic appearances, but mostly just as comic relief. Later, chunk! Number three, the Mad Hatter. Oh, sometimes, Alice, I think you're the only one who understands me. <laughs> That's just what my boyfriend said. Combine Alice in Wonderland with mind control, and you have essentially just summed up the Mad Hatter. Obsessed with the aforementioned novel, Jarvis Tetch was a scientist who turned to a life of crime using his mind control inventions. His crimes, outfit, and personality are all themed around the book, specifically the Mad Hatter character. You're mine now. You're mine, and there's nothing that Strange can do about it. Oh, are you not going to drink your tea? It's special tea, my special tea. He is often depicted as a short man with an oversized green hat, which houses his mind control device. Despite his weird origins, he's not the first Batman villain to be openly themed around Alice in Wonderland, because that honor goes to the villain duo of Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Recently in comics, though, the two work for the Mad Hatter as henchmen. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, my control over my pawns increases their strength. <laughs> Number two, Flamingo. This Matador lookalike is a serial killer who plagues Gotham City. First appearing in 2007's Batman issue number 666, Flamingo is a man who was brainwashed by the mob and became a skilled contract killer. He also has the tendency to eat the faces of his victims. He is usually depicted as a man in a pink matador outfit riding a pink motorcycle brandishing a whip. His claim to fame in the comics is nearly killing Jason Todd by shooting him in the face. Later rebooted in the New 52, he is emotionless, flamboyant, and skillful, with an impeccable kill record to back it up. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Welcome home, Sister Susie! <gasps> I've missed you so! Number 1. Polka Dot Man Taking the top spot on our list is this very unskillful and silly villain, the Polka Dot Man. First appearing in 1962's Detective Comics issue number 300, his crimes were dot-themed, like stealing a black pearl from an official who also travels with a spotted leopard theme. His power comes from his ridiculous spotted suit, which allows him to pull the spots off of it and use them for weapons or portals. This campy villain was spotted every time and appeared sparingly in comics since. He did appear in the 90s, penniless and without his technology, and resorted to robbing a bank with a baseball bat. He also appeared in Batman the Brave and the Bold, as well as a Lego video game. Do you agree with our list? You're a twit. Which Batman character do you think is the weirdest? For more kooky top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Woe is me. My criminal career is now extinct. Foolish, evil man.
you're going to end up where all broken eggshells end up.